The White House started this day on a much different note as President Obama signed his first bill into law. The new law makes it easier for workers to sue for pay discrimination. And the woman who inspired it, a grandmother who took her case to the Supreme Court and lost, finally saw her goal realized today. Savannah Guthrie, also at the White House tonight, with us tonight. Savannah, good evening. Good evening, Brian. With the stroke of a pen, another big break from the Bush era. Democrats in Congress have been trying to get this equal pay law through for nearly two years. Today, it became a reality. The first bill signing had something of a party atmosphere. The president handing out pens and hugs to Lily Ledbetter, the woman whose decade-long legal battle culminated today. I signed this bill for my daughters and all those who will come after us because I want them to grow up in a nation that values their contributions, where there are no limits to their dreams. Lily Ledbetter's journey to the White House began more than a decade ago in Alabama. She worked 19 years as a supervisor at a Goodyear tire plant. But at the end of her career, says she discovered she was paid far less than men doing the same job. I just could not believe that they would separate the female pay so far down the line away from my male peers. Ledbetter sued, but the U.S. Supreme Court threw out her case, saying she filed her lawsuit too late. That led Congress to act, passing a law that says the 180-day time period employees have to file a claim starts ticking every time they get a paycheck, not when the employer first sets their pay, giving them plenty of time to sue. But critics say the law will open the floodgates to lawsuits. Absolutely fewer jobs for women because we're going to see employers having to pay out in lawsuits and other areas where they're not going to be able to expand as, much, as freely as they otherwise would be. Ledbetter's story brought out Michelle Obama for her first public remarks as first lady. She knew unfairness when she saw it and was willing to do something about it. But Ledbetter herself will never see a dime of the $200,000 in lost salary she claims. You lost your case, but what did you win? something that money could never buy and two really good friends in the White House. Well, Congress had attempted to change this law a couple of times, but the Bush White House and Senate Republicans blocked it. It's another way, Brian, the Obama administration trying to make its mark early on. Savannah Guthrie in the White House briefing room in the West Wing for us tonight. Savannah, thanks for that story.